Hello, welcome. Are you guys ready to do this? I know I am. Oh my gosh, it's good to be back. Another uh, Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. Uh, I know I've been gone. Last week was an awesome week. Oh my goodness, vacation seriously does a body good. Oh wow. We had such a great time. The weather uh, you know, it was only like um, maybe a high of like 70 or so. Hi, Karen. Yay. I'm glad you found me. Um, yeah, so it wasn't uh, super hot, but actually 70 in the sun on the beach in Florida is just about perfect. It was so not too hot, you know, so you could be out there most of the day and, you know, get a little sun and enjoy the super beautiful white sandy beach and like the beach went for forever so we could go on nice long walks my sister and I did that a lot in the mornings um, before everybody was kind of up and around we you know we're not even early risers but those teenagers are you know my gosh they're not early risers at all either so anyway we just it was it was so relaxing I think more than anything it was great to spend time with my kids with my sister and her family and then there were actually a couple of other families that ended up joining us kind of last minute so we had a couple of different condos the kids are always back and forth the beach we were right on the beach so the uh, it was just it was amazing hi Sally how are you doing so yeah it's just you know I forget how good it is to uh, get away and kind of relax and unwind and like kind of forget about everything for a little while you know I guess I don't know you just work so hard and it's nice to get a break and then oh I was very refreshed I will tell you that for sure um, lots of good sleep and just fun with everybody so yeah so here we go hi Philomena yay I'm glad you could join us I hope you're doing well I know I missed everybody it was kind of funny you know how when you go on vacation you're like what day of the week is it but there was something on Friday that told me it was Friday so I was missing you guys um, yeah, thank you, Sally. I, it was it was very fun and very relaxing. So thank you. Yeah. So let's see. I'm still. I'm like rubbing my hands. I always have to put lotion on before we um, start these Facebook lives. So my my hands are not super like dry and scratchy. So um, oh, you guys. So I have to tell you the spring break special. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Hi, Sandra, how are you doing? Um, thank you, like I said, so much. Everyone who participated in the Spring Break Special, who took advantage of that, I have to tell you, so I have your 10 free handmade cards. I've still got some of the free embellishments that are coming in. Um, they're, I think, stamping up at the very end, like you know, on March 30th and 31st and even the first. They got so many orders in that like, I think I put an order in on Monday the 1st to take advantage of some of that storage by Stampin' Up, you know, order some of that. And it's not even gonna be here till next Wednesday. I'm like, that is craziness. So I think they just got super behind at the end of celebration and then everybody was ordering all that storage stuff too. So as soon as I have all of the, hi Nikki, as soon as I have all of the um, free embellishments. And then obviously the other thing I was waiting for was to do the drawing that we're gonna do in just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> as part of the spring break special so it's all in process I just want everybody to know whoever put an online order in for that spring break special all of your goodies are gonna be coming it will probably not be until like middle to later next week before you receive everything though so hang tight with me I appreciate your patience um, I'm just so excited to get everything out to everybody so and then to do the drawing too but I just you guys you have no idea like how I was really stressed out about leaving to go on vacation not having met my sales goal and you guys came through like you all were amazing I mean all of celebration you guys have been amazing but I was like blown away um, that every that so many people took advantage of that spring break special so thank you you guys like your support means so so much to me I just appreciate I love doing these Facebook live videos and and I love um, that you guys enjoy them and just thank you thank you so much for your um, support of that too so awesome awesome stuff right um, so okay couple quick announcements the um, one day retreat RSVPs are I feel like I've been talking about that for forever too um, the one day retreat on Saturday April 20th RSVP and payment are due today is the last day so let me know if you still want to get signed up for the one day retreat I've got room there's always room for more people this is a huge space so we've got lots and lots of room to spread out it's a big wide open really super high ceilings lots and lots of light it's a beautiful space to work in um, 
So let me know if you want to get signed up for the one day retreat. And then also in conjunction with the one day retreat, I'm doing that happiness blooms class to go. So I'm going to give you a little, little sampler. Like I've got my, um, my little cards here, right? Like I'm going to play playing cards, right? So this is um, kind of a quick little example of the cards that we'll be making along with those super cute striped envelopes too, right? So that's the Happiness Blooms class to go. That I need RSVP and um, payment by Monday the 8th if you're interested in that class. The live class that's here in Alma as part of, I'm doing it at the one day retreat essentially. I have tables set up on the side. You come and do the class. It's anytime from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, or if you're not local, if you want to get that class to go, I can ship it to you. And then last thing is the retreat in a box. So again, if you're not local, if you can't make it, hi Beth, how are you? Um, if you can't make it to the one day retreat, if you want to get the retreat basically sent to you, you get everything that everybody gets, all the goodie bag stuff, all of the treats that I give everybody throughout the day. You get the make and takes. I'm going to throw in another little fun something or other. Um, so it's just a great, um, just a great way to get stamping sent to you. Hi, Vina. Hello, hello. Um, and I will send you pictures of everything too. The, the make and takes are going to be simple. They're not going to be super complicated. So you should be able to follow along just with the pictures. I'll include any info, you know, if there's anything special that you need to know about how to finish up your make and takes. So let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for the one day retreat live if you can make it, the happiness blooms class or the class to go if you can't make it, and then the retreat in a box. And those um, retreat in a box and um, happiness blooms class, those RSVP and payment are due by Monday. This Monday Monday the 8th, okay? Um, let's see. Do you guys want to do, I think I've got like, right, I'm just checking my notes here. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Um, okay, so let's do, we're going to do our first drawing for the rhinestones. Everybody can always use more bling in their lives, right? Okay, so these are the awesome rhinestones that kind of come in like a um, or is it just, no, there are three sizes, mainly small, then a little, few medium and a few large, right? So the rhinestones. So the huge here, right? You get one entry into the drawing if you commented on the Facebook Live video. You get three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. Then my random day that I picked was Wednesday, so we actually had two Wednesdays. So anybody that commented or shared a post from either the Wednesdays or if you posted a project that you made on Wednesday, your name goes in here. And then lastly, if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list and you did that, in the last two weeks, your name is in here also. So lots and lots of good ways to get entered into the drawing. And Sally's always saying, pick me, pick me. I know everybody says that, right? Okay, so we're going to shake these all around and make sure I have one piece of paper in my hand. Oh my gosh. So it's Mary Ann. And Mary Ann, she's not on here yet. Mary Ann, the birthday girl. She's probably out celebrating her birthday. You are a lucky, lucky gal, Miss Mary Ann. So congratulations. You are the winner of the rhinestones. So I will get those sent out to you. And like I said, happy birthday, Mary Ann. You'll probably be watching this later because you're out enjoying. Hey, oh my gosh, Mary Ann, you just won. You won the rhinestones. Look at that. Happy birthday to you. That's awesome. And all of these things. Things do not say Marianne on them, I promise. <laughs> Even though that's pretty cool that she won on her birthday. So yay, congratulations, Marianne. I will get those sent out to you. That's too funny. Okay, hold on one sec. Now what do we wanna do? Oh, I wanna tell you guys about, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You've been needing, yeah, we always need more rhinestones. Are you kidding? I use those like crazy. I can buy packages and packages and I never like have enough, right? So awesome, congratulations. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys, this is what we're gonna draw for next week. I have been loving these sweet little flowers, the frosted flower embellishments. They come in kind of a lighter purple, a pinky color, and a clear color. Um, so yeah, we're gonna draw for these next week. You guys know the drill, right? As, as many times as you comment, that's how many time your name, times your name goes in the drawing for these um, frosted flower embellishments. Three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. Don't forget, you got to make a little comment though about, about the video when you share it, right? Um, three entries if you sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. And then that one random day that I pick if you comment or share on a post I make or if you make your own post. Three more entries in the drawing, okay? So we'll draw for those next Friday. And we're back. We're back to like regular. I haven't looked at the calendar that closely, 
Well, I will tell you guys that <clears throat> this is, um, yeah, while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to mention this. Um, yeah, I know, Marianne, I love those colors on those too. Um, so my son, Cade, um, he finished up with the regular basketball season. Yeah, I'm sure you guys get so tired of hearing me talk about all this basketball stuff. But I, fortunately, I love basketball, right? So um, now he is participating in like an AAU, a travel basketball program. Um, I didn't realize we are signed up for 10 tournaments in April. April, May, and July, 10 of our weekends like that. <laughs> it's like almost every single weekend. So the reason why I say that is some of them are like further distance away, like Detroit and Grand Rapids are like our close tournaments. So we're like heading out of state for some of these things. So my point is there is a chance um, potentially that we would have to leave earlier on Friday and I may not be able to do a Facebook Live, but I don't know that. And honestly, they don't even give us like this weekend schedule. I just got, I just got it. Did they get it? Yeah, I think I got it today, this morning. <laughs> so we know for tomorrow what we're doing today. So I'll warn you guys, there's a chance, maybe last minute I might not be able to do a Facebook Live. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm just kind of throwing it out there as the, you know, as a possibility sometime. But I'm really hoping, you know, for the next however many Fridays in a row we're gonna be able to do the Facebook Lives. The other thing too, because I know I've had people wondering about the celebration celebration event that you've qualified for if you did that during celebration. I know I, I don't have my day here, but I think I had, I was trying to see, nope, I don't think I have that info here. I think I had set up um, a tentative date was April 27th, but of course that is a tournament actually, I think that's the one that's in Pittsburgh. Can you believe like we're going to go to Pittsburgh to play basketball? I kind of can't believe that we have to go that far, but whatever, it's, it'll be a fun experience. I've never been to Pittsburgh before, so we'll go check out Pittsburgh. Um, but my point is again, that um, I don't, I'm not going to be able to do the celebration celebration event that Saturday. I've got another date, a possible date in mind. I'm just trying to double check a couple more things. So as soon as I know for sure when the live date is, it's probably going to be in May. Though it's going to be a little bit later. The only cool thing about doing it in May is, um, I think like May 1st as a demonstrator, we can pre-order out of the new annual catalog. So I'll have some new annual catalog stuff to play with at the live event. Or if you um, can't make it to the live event, if you qualified, I'm going to send you everything that everybody gets at the live event. But again, it won't be until probably like mid-May is what I'm looking at. So, but like I said, you'll get some fun new stuff too. So there's kind of a, you know, pros and cons to that. Because I kind of, I'm like, I hate to kind of drag it out that long, but... And I thought about, you know, okay, maybe I'll just miss one of these tournaments and do the event. And then I was like, you know, he only is like young once. All these opportunities are only going to happen probably once in all of our lifetimes. So I'm like, okay, as much as I can, I'm not going to miss anything. I'm going to try to schedule stuff around it. So I appreciate you guys um, kind of understanding that's where I'm at with that. So, but I'll keep you posted for sure on when the celebration celebration event is. Um, and then again, if you're not local, you'll get everything right after, right before or after the event. I'll get everything mailed out to everybody if you can't make it to the live event, okay? So yeah, crazy, crazy schedule. My kids <laughs> keep me very busy, but I love it. I, oh my gosh, only a couple more years, right? And they're going to be graduated and then like, then all I'll have to do is stamp. I'll be able to stamp like all day and all night. That'll... I don't know. Is that going to be good or bad? I don't know. Anyway. Um, okay. Oh, so you guys, so I have to give kind of a shout out and a welcome. We, um, let's see, we added, I don't even know. I don't have the numbers here. Total. I'll tell you, maybe I'll tell you guys that next time, but, um, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Kids grow up way too fast. I know I'm finally getting that. <laughs> finally, like, you know, everybody said, oh, enjoy it when they're little. And they drove me crazy when they were little. My kids had so much energy. They were like the kids that like bounced off the walls all the time. So I probably did not enjoy them as much as I could. I mean, there were moments when they were hilarious, but oh my gosh, they were exhausting. So, you know, now they're older and now I'm finally like, yeah, I get it. They do grow up way too fast. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm like way off tangent. Um, but okay, so back to we, we added, like I said, I don't even know how many new Inkspired Stampers to our downline, to our to our Inkspired Stampers group during celebration. So I wanna give a welcome to the latest Inkspired Stampers to Miss Sandy Sawyers, Deanna Clagg, Cindy Kirby, Laura Dankovic, Becky Hoople and Miss Sally McLennan who is watching right now. So congratulations ladies on getting that awesome deal with the starter kit and all your goodies. You may hopefully even have your starter kit by now, right? Unless you did it right at the very end of celebration. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, it's either you've gotten it or it's gonna be here any minute now. And then get your wish list ready because then you can get 20% off of all future orders. Um, I'm happy to help you or if you got the um, starter kit through somebody in my downline, I'm sure they're happy to help you. Also, Stampin' Up! at 1-800-STAMP-UP is always super helpful to get orders entered. Yay, you got yours. Awesome, Sally. Very cool. Well, congratulations. And then I have to give another huge, this is so awesome, huge congratulations. This is my first downline to reach Silver Elite. So congratulations. This was so cool. Miss Nancy Gulick reached, qual or, um, reached um, Silver Elite toward the end of um, March. She had a huge sales goal that she was trying to meet um, the month of March. And, and I honestly was like, wow, this is gonna be amazing if she does it. And I wasn't sure. I'm like, it was, it was a big hefty goal to meet. And you know what? She did it. She was like on fire. So now I can't wait to talk to her and kind of learn more about what she did. Cause I think we all need to know, how did you get that much in sales for that month? So congratulations, Miss Nancy. She gets all kinds of good stuff. So um, let's see from me, she gets a hundred dollar shopping spree. Um, I just love to reward people that promote within my team. And I do this for all levels, regardless of whether you get the starter kit through me or you get it through someone in my downline. It helps everybody out when you get those promotions. Um, <clears throat> So I love to reward for that. So she gets a $100 shopping spree from me. And then she also has a charm necklace that she gets another flower charm. And then she gets to pick. I've got really pretty, there's a little key or a butterfly or a star charm and she gets to pick whichever of those charms she wants to go into her charm necklace. And then from Stampin' Up, she's continuing because she's she's got really good sales, right? So she continues to get that at least 25% off of her orders. She gets 5,000 flex points for promoting. And then she's probably getting what they call like a volume rebate which is kind of like an additional commission on her orders because whenever you get to more than $600 in orders in a month you earn an additional volume rebate it's called basically it's more commission on your orders so yes Karen's saying she was so proud I know and Beth you there were so many people just did such a great job during celebration it's really a great time to kind of work and really grow your business um, so I put that out there for everybody, but it's anytime is a good time, you know, whenever you can do it. I know Karen's working on her promotion to Silver Elite too, and it'll happen. You know, it all, there's a, there are a couple components because you have to have five recruits. You have to have $7,200 in rolling 12 month sales. And actually one of those five recruits has to be at silver status. So that person has to be doing some selling or buying an awful lot of stamps and ink and paper as well. So there's, there usually people have one component they either have the recruits or they have the sales but maybe they don't have the other one so it's it's work to get both of those but it's amazing when you do it and then it's funny because I, I think I said this um, in our group um, I kind of struggle with this like the whole like tooting of my own horn I'll say but when Nancy promoted to silver elite myself that helped me promote to gold which I have been at Silver Elite since like we started back with the new compensation plan. So this was really, really, really awesome to get that promotion as well. So thank you, Nancy. You you rock. I like I'm just so excited for you and thankful that you could do that. And then that helped me get my promotion too. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was very, very cool. We had a great celebration. I am still kind of trying to get all the numbers worked out. So if you're in my downline, I'm going to be posting uh, more info on uh, how we did for all of celebration I'll get that out to everybody um, this weekend after we go to the basketball tournament tomorrow so thank you Nikki you're very very sweet um, yeah we just had a great a great group of gals too we I think we're really kind of getting to know each other and having lots of fun together and really 
inspiring and motivating and helping each other out too so it was very very cool very awesome just an awesome group to be a part of and an awesome thing to see too so yes um okay so let's see what else what else oh i know okay let's do the drawing for the spring break special okay so if you guys remember actually let me i gotta get these names dumped out of there because we don't got to get the right names put in. So I've got the pieces of paper with everybody that took advantage of the spring break special. So if you guys remember, like I said, all of those people that ordered at least $50 online, you're going to get 10 free handmade cards. You're going to get a free embellishment for me and your name is in this drawing right now to win one of these three awesome prizes. Okay, so we have to choose from the Dear Doily stamp set and the Doily builder thinlets okay so that's one of the prizes that you can pick all right if your name is drawn then the next one is the lasting lily stamp set and the lily framelits that had already sold out so this is another awesome prize this is um another one that you can pick from so that bundle as well and then the last one that you can pick from is the country floral embossing folder and the lace dynamic embossing folder so this is how it's going to work I have the names in the drawing right here. The first name that I pick, you get to decide which of those prizes do you want. And if you're not watching on the live, I'll get a hold of you. You let me know which prize you want. And then I'm gonna draw the second name and that person gets to pick from the two that are left, the two prizes that are left. And then the third name that's drawn is gonna get the remaining prize that's left, okay? So yeah, Sally, you got everything. <laughs> that's why you guys don't even need to do this, right? So, okay, so here goes. The first name that is drawn that's gonna get the first pick from these awesome prizes. This was so cool to be able to do this for you guys. I've, I wanna do big prizes like this all the time. I just can't always afford to, <laughs> to be able to. So I'm working on it though. Okay, so first name, got these all shaken up really well, is Miss Linda Turner. Go Linda, if you can see that. Okay, so Linda, I will get in touch with you because I don't think you're really on Facebook much. So then you're gonna let me know which prize you would like. Okay, so you get the first pick out of all three of those. Okay. So I have to put that name right over there. Okay, so next name drawn is, let me make sure, yep, they're all, okay. The next name drawn is, ooh, Miss Melissa Goralski. Hey, 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 can you see? Let me get that on there, right? Yes, so congratulations, Melissa. I will let you know the two remaining prizes that are left and you'll be able to pick from those two, okay? And then, the last prize is going to go to, let's see, who's it gonna be? I've got one name in here. Oh, Miss Sandra! Sandra Johnson wins the last prize. So congratulations, Sandra. So once the other two are picked, I'll let you know what you end up with. So thank you guys all so very much. I just, like I said, I can't tell you what it meant to me to have that support from you guys, especially when I was hanging out at the beach relaxing. <laughs> anyway, it, it, was, it was very cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me check. Oh, okay, you know what? I kind of, um, actually, let me tell you guys. Sorry, I get like all off tangent. I'm gonna let you guys know. <laughs> Yay, Sandra's excited and very sweet, Sally, to congratulate everyone. Okay, so this week I have, this is a super cute stamp set. This one is called the Fable Friends Stamp Set. So we're back to this week. If you put at least a $30 online order in, you're gonna get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the cute little Fable Friends stamp set. So, okay, so we've got, this is nice, right? The little glad we're friends. There's a happy spring. There's an Easter greetings and a darling baby. And then some super cute little bunnies and ducks on there too. So a great kind of spring set. Great for Easter, great for spring, great for babies. Just a super duper cute little set there. This was one that I've seen lots and lots of ideas posted recently with this set too. So again, your name goes in the drawing to win this with at least a $30 online order. I will give you the host code in just a couple minutes when we flip the camera down, okay? 
All right. Oh, okay. So now I wanted to mention, uh, it is a really cute, adorable set, isn't it? Miss Karen. Um, okay. So back to, I um, ordered the storage by Stampin' Up. If anybody has any questions, because I know I've been posting all week long as our product of the week, the storage by Stampin' Up. Basically, my impression is, um, you know, it's got to be just big enough to fit like five ink pads and then five markers beside it. That's one of the little thingies. There's an open bin that you can put like embellishments or ribbon in. Uh, my thing that I totally wanted to get was um, for the blends markers. It holds, I think, six blends across and then five tiers high. And everything is the same height too, so it like stacks really kind of nice and neat, which I think all of us really appreciate. There's also the little topper thing that you can put 20 ink refills in, which is very, very cool. And then there's just like a little lid, or I think it's a lid, they call it, so that then you can put, a, you know, they, they showed like a cute little vase or a little clock or whatever, you can stack some stuff on top of it. So I ordered those, like I said, on April 1st, I think it was super late at night, but still my order is not gonna be here until Wednesday next week, which that's totally fine, because I will have that stuff to show you on next Friday's Facebook Live. But with that being said, I think literally on April 2nd, Stampin' Up! already put an update on our website that said, okay, um, my impression was like we've had super amazing sales of that storage by Stampin' Up! already. And they again, I don't know, They maybe they just didn't understand how popular it was going to be. But I believe... Um, We've sold a whole bunch of it already. Now it is going to be in the next annual catalog available as well. Um, you know, they released it early, I think, to really kind of jumpstart sales for April after the end of celebration. Um, and I think it worked. But my point is, if you want any of that storage by Stampin' Up!, you're going to want to order it as quickly as possible. I actually didn't even check the Stampin' Up! website before we got on the live today. I looked at it last night. Um, Let's see, what's, sorry, Sally's saying, I'm confused with how many trays you get in each set. Um, well, it depends on which you're looking at. Sally, on this Facebook group right here, um, there is a configuration chart. If you um, look back, one of the posts from the last like Monday through Thursday, there is a configuration chart that tells you um, you know, how, how many blends markers do you have? How many are going to fit in the little container thing? So it kind of helps you do the math on how many you would need to order. Um, but yeah, Karen, yeah, you're right. One, one little unit holds five ink pads. That's right. And then five markers beside it. So, and then the blends, it's five rows of six. You can put 30 blends markers in one little unit. Um, but like I said, just click, like if you see kind of a picture that says, you know, that has like info on it, just click on it and then it gets really big on your screen and you can read it a little bit better. Cause I know it's like small print when I have just kind of linked it on there. Or if you go to stampinup.com, the literally the first banner that's on there now is the storage by Stampin' Up. If you just click like on that big banner, it takes you to each of the items in there and then gives you all the detail too. Um, but I will have those next week um, as well. But I'm just a little bit afraid that like by the time I get them and I'm showing you next Friday, they might not be available to order. So what what's going to happen is if they sell out of all of their inventory instead of putting everybody on back order, because that is, I think, super expensive. If you can imagine when those items come in, then they have to individually ship all of those things out to everybody rather than putting it in you know, your box with your order and sending it like that. So I think what they're gonna do is they're just gonna turn all those item codes off until they get more inventory in again, and then they'll be able to start selling it again. So don't panic if you can't get it right away. If you can, I would order it as soon as you possibly can. Um, but if not, you're just gonna have to wait until they get their next shipment in, item codes turn back on, and then it'll be rolling along. But it is gonna be available in the next annual catalog, so they're gonna have a ton of it available. Um, it's just a matter of whenever they get their next shipment. Okay, so don't panic, but you know, if you can get it, get it now if you can. Okay, um, all right, I think we are ready to move the camera. Just trying to make sure I've got, I went, I think I went over everything that we needed to talk about here. So, okay, let me move that stuff out of the way. All right, turn your heads away for a quick sec. And yeah, Karen's saying, yep, it's going to be in the next annual catalog. Okay, turn your heads away for a quick sec. I'm going to flip the camera around and Sally let me know if you have any more questions I know you were kind of wondering about stuff there too
All right. Let's see, there we go. And I'm gonna grab my grid paper. And so new host code for April, right? Just to, all right, let's get this in the screen here. <laughs> okay, hold on one sec. I need to move this over if I can. I don't know if that's gonna let me. There, okay, sorry. Then it's bouncing. Okay, so there we go. All right, so again, <laughs> where's the middle of this thing? Seriously. Okay, so to kind of recap, or if you're new to Facebook Live, right, if you put a minimum $30 online order in at stampinup.com, you're gonna pro receive the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes, and your name is entered into the drawing to win the Fable Friends stamp set, okay? You just need to make sure to use the new host code for April. This host code is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com as well. So if you don't jot it down right now and you forget, just go to gatheringinspiration.com and it's right there on the right-hand side toolbar. It'll say host code, get a free embellishment. So it is P3GZ7ND7. And then, if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me as well, in addition to the um, projects that we demonstrate and getting your name in the drawing. Okay, good. I'm glad everybody, we're all looking, it's all looking good. Okay, so, oh, I have to show you guys. So, um, I don't know if you're, if you're not on YouTube, maybe you haven't seen, but I announced my latest class to go. Hold on, where's, I gotta get the stamps up. So, it features the... Okay, the piece of cake stamp set and then the cake builder punch. Super fun stamp set, right? So it is kind of birthday driven, but I have to point out that there's also a little Mr. and Mrs. and may your love grow sweeter with every passing year. So you could kind of use it as a wedding anniversary type of card, but look at all, or um, you know, sentiments, right? Look at all the fun birthday, or I think these look like, um, again, they look kind of like wedding, um, wedding cakes too, right? But there's a little happy birthday, the little toppers, the little drippy cake, and then some other fun, right? And then here are the sentiments on this stamp set. We've got happy birthday, you sweet thing, enjoy every crumb, cut the cake, happy birthday, hope this year is a piece of cake, a really pretty flower that could go on top of those cakes, right? And then this is a fun one, cake is the answer, who cares what the question is? I love that. And then count the good times, not the candles. And then, yeah, so it's just super, super cute. Karen, you're saying <coughs> your punch is back ordered. Um, I wonder, I'm trying to remember, I thought I got on the website and it wasn't back ordered any longer. Um, if it is, maybe you ordered it a little bit ago. I think it should be in now. I'll have to check that to be sure. Um, I thought, <clears throat> the, the other day when I decided, yes, I'm definitely, because I've been wanting to use the stamp set and punch on a class to go for months. And I know that the punch was on back order, but I feel like it's not any longer because I thought I checked the Stampin' Up! website. <coughs> Excuse me. Unless it like went on back order again. Anyway, we'll figure it out. <coughs> All right. I need a mint. Hold on one sec. <coughs> Fortunately, we have this thing called the mint drawer right here. Okay, I gotta get that open now though. All right, don't. <coughs> All right, I think I'm okay. So, back to the class to go. Let me make sure I give you good information here. Okay, so again, it features the piece of cake stamp set, the cake builder punch. Is that a glare? Can't tell. Um, you also, what, do I, what am I going to tell you guys about? Um, mm, let's just go with, I'm going to tell you the different options, right? And then I'll tell you everything that comes in the options. So option number one is, I'm going to put those, ooh, excuse me, the stamp set and the punch. You're going to get the stamp set and the punch. You are going to get a bolt of the white flax ribbon. You're also going to get a full package of rhinestones and pearls. And you get the PDF tutorial. You actually get the rhinestones for free with this option. I'm going to show you the cards. Actually, I should have done that earlier. But you are going to get um, all the make and take supplies to make two of each of these cards. So you'll get enough to make two of this little happy birthday card, 
the happy birthday you sweet thing card. This is a, that's the cake is the answer. Who cares what the question is card. And then this is a fun one, kind of a different, it's like a little slider, a little bit like an envelope card, but it says we've got happy birthday, cut the cake, enjoy every crumb. So just kind of a fun, different little layout there too, okay? So again, you'll get all the make and take pieces to make two of each of those cards, right? So option number one is $62. Then option number two is basically everything except the punch. You get the stamp set, you get the ribbon, you get the rhinestones and the pearls, and then all the make and take supplies to do two of each of these um, cards. That option number two is $51. Then option number three is if you already have the stamp set and the punch, you need to make sure to have the stamp set because you have to do your own stamping. Um, these cards wouldn't be the same without the stamp set, right? So if you already have the stamp set and the punch, you are going to get the ribbon, the rhinestones and the pearls, and then the make and take supplies for all four of those cards, two of each of them, right? So option number three is $37. Option number one, two, and three all ship priority mail for an additional $8. If you're local, you can select the studio pickup option and then that $8 shipping fee is waived. Option number four is just the PDF tutorial, just the step-by-step -step with colors, dimensions, everything you need to know to make those cards, right? Option number four is $15, and the PDF tutorial is always available even after the RSVP deadline. Then option number five is for anybody in my downline, you can get the make and take materials to make two of each of those cards at cost. It's just $12 for the make and take supplies. You get your own stamp set and punch, I will give you what you need in terms of rhinestones, pearls, and flax ribbon to make your projects, but order the stamp set and the punch yourself to get your own discount with your demo ID, right? And the other thing to know is if you're a part of the Inkspired Stampers group, you can always get the PDF tutorial for free, so that $15 shipping fee is waived if you buy the starter kit, okay? Um, you can make substitutions if you already happen to have the stamp set and the punch, but you want to get the make and take supplies, we can substitute for the value of those. Um, so just let me know if you sign up for that for one of these class to goes and you already have these, just email me right away with the substitution you want to make for those. Um, oh, you guys also need to know about ink pad colors. We use lots of fun, bright, oh my gosh, just very cheerful ink pad colors. So Pineapple Punch, Coastal Cabana, Gorgeous Grape, Calypso Coral, and Lemon Lime Twist. Look at that, isn't that like a really fun rainbow of colors? We did also use Black Memento ink um, that I have put over to the side for another card we're gonna be making soon. And then I did also color. I used Granny Apple Green blends and Pineapple Punch blends, just coloring the cake, just that little bit of detail right there. I used those markers on there. If you have another method for coloring, you're welcome to do that, but that's just what I had suggested because that's what I used. Okay, um, let's see, registration ends on Friday, April 19th, so just two weeks to get signed up for this class to go. And the expected shipping date of all the kits is Wednesday, May 1st. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I can email you the link to get signed up. It's super simple, go right through PayPal, quick and easy. Um, or just let me know um, and I can get you set up um, another way too. We can just get things ordered for you. So let me know, I'd love to get one of those class to go kits. They, I love those cards. I, every month I'm, I always have so much fun designing those cards. So, okay, are you guys ready? Let's do some stamping now. So actually, the first card that we are going to make uses the piece of cake stamp set and the cake builder punch. I have to show you guys how cute these are, right? So maybe you'll wanna get the class to go then, huh? Um, thank you, Karen, I appreciate that. <clears throat> Let's see, oh, I see. Yep, you're talking about the punch. I think it's off a of back order. You got me a little panicked now, but I can't check the website right this minute, so we'll do that. I'll do that in a little bit. Okie dokie, so I'm trying to get everything out here. Okay, are you guys just dying to know what we're gonna make? I'm teasing you, because I wanna get everything pulled out here first, and then I'm gonna show you. There's a lot. A lot of cute pieces. I am in love with all these spring colors too. I'm ready. I think after going on spring break, it just makes you like super duper ready for spring, right? Okay, I think I've got everything out. So, all right, 
check out this super duper cute card. What? <laughs> you had to kiss some boo-boos, huh, Sally? That's funny. The grandkids must be over, huh? Okay, so this is a card that obviously features the piece of cake stamp set and the cake builder punch. So I'm going to show you how we do this card or my interpretation of it. I actually case this. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. You have a bad headache. Maybe it's the weather, right? It's kind of damp and dreary. I hope you feel better soon. Headaches are no fun. Oh, yuck. Um, okay, so this card I cased from Chris Sloger. Her last name is spelled S-L-O-G-A-R, and you can find her at BuckeyeInklings.com. Now, I will have to say that Chris is a huge Ohio State fan, hence the BuckeyeInklings.com is her website. Um, I'm not a huge Ohio State fan living in the state of Michigan. There's a pretty big rivalry between U of M and Ohio State. So um, I'll just say I really liked her card enough that I had to make it even though she's a Buckeye. <laughs> Sorry, I hope Chris never hears that. And I'm, you know, maybe I'm kind of kidding, Chris, if you ever do hear it. So anyway, I just thought the card was super cute. And I thought it featured the stamp set and the punch really, really well. And um, I had kind of run out of steam. I had designed these cards, you know, that whole getting back into the swing of things after you've been on vacation. I was super buried. So by the time I was like, oh, we had to do cards for Facebook Live too. And I knew I wanted to do another one of these cards to show you how awesome the stamp set and punch are. I was like, okay, I found this cute card on um, Pinterest and we're going with it. So thank you, Chris Sloger, for your idea. Okay, so we are going to start. This is a piece of Highland Heather cardstock, right? And so let's see, we start with the full sheet of cardstock that measures our eight and a half by 11. We cut it on the 11 inch side at five and a half and then scored it on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, okay? For our nice crisp fold as always on our card, right? And then we have a piece of, this is part of the Suttles Designer Series paper. I missed a whole bunch of comments. I'm gonna have to go back and read them. <laughs> I think I think we've got some rivalry issues going on between probably Ohio State and Michigan and Michigan State is kind of what I'm what I'm seeing. But I'm gonna read those a little bit later so I stay on track here. Anyway, Highland Heather um, Suttles um, Designer Series paper pack, the six by six paper pack. So this is the really pretty stripes, the Highland Heather that measures two inches by five and a half inches, and that's gonna go right on the side there. And then everything else, these are all just kind of scraps of paper to do our stamping and die cutting and so on. So let's, I'm gonna do the stamping first and then we're gonna do our die cutting because I kind of, I like when, I'm gonna use the blends on here and I kind of like to let these things sit for a moment or two before we color. So I've got my black memento ink. I'm doing the nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna press straight down and lift straight up. And then I've got the cake base, cake stand, I think is what I should be calling it, right? So we're just gonna stamp both of those two. And then I'm also going to stamp the, um, what are these called? These are the candles. We're gonna stamp those. This is just a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock that we are gonna die cut our oval out of. The other thing that we could do right now is use our pool party ink. I know, Highland Heather, it's beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? So this is funny, this stamp, so the photopolymer, I had it curled, it kinda of has a mind of its own. So I love that you can do that, so it's a straight, we're using this happy birthday right here. Can you see that? But, oh, it keeps moving on me. I have to like tighten it down there. We'll do it quick too. So you can kind of make these a little bit curved. That's the kind of fun thing about these photopolymer. You can manipulate them a little bit so that it fits in that punch. I did get that. I wasn't sure if I got it inked up well enough, but okay. So there we go. We got our um, little pool party. Happy birthday, and then this is, I think it's the, the banner duet punch maybe, duet banner punch. I will have, that makes me think, um, all of the item codes for everything that we're using, I will get that uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com so you don't have to search for any of the item codes. If you're ready to order any of these products, 
just go to gatheringinspiration.com. I'll have a whole list right on there of all of everything that we use to make this project, along with the dimensions. I put those on there too, okay? All right, so we've got that. I think we're good. Let's do our die cutting. I gotta keep that where I, where I can find it, and we're gonna color that in a moment. Okay, yep, so I'm gonna grab my Big Shot, and here we go. I have my magnetic platform. I'm trying to get this so you guys can actually see. There's something funny about my setup today. I don't know what it is, but you know, every day is different, but when you've been gone for two weeks, everything feels a little off somehow. So, sorry. Um, okay, we're gonna do, this is a piece of, oh, uh, what's Sally saying? I'm not a purple fan. You know what, Sally? I wasn't really a big purple fan either, but I sure am enjoying Highland Heather. Maybe it was just, we didn't have the right purple for a while. I love Highland Heather now. Okay, this is the, I think it's the largest, yep, the largest scallop edge oval framelit in the layering over oval framelits. Okay, so we've got that one there. Cranking that through our big shot. Get out of the way. And then this is one of the stitched edge oval framelits largest. This is the largest one also. So we're just gonna put that right in there. So I've got, if I haven't said, I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath the paper, the framelit, and then the other clear cutting pad on top. Always so easy to work with. And then I've got those little candles on there too. So that's ready to go also. All right, we have everything we need cut with our big shot now. Okay, now we are gonna do our coloring. Did I flip that? Okay. And I need to grab my glasses, so I'm gonna do that right here because this is pretty small. Yep, pretty teeny tiny. And I'm gonna bring my guide back over here so I don't get anything messed up, right? So I have some blends markers here. I'm gonna kind of bring those into view so you can see. I'm trying to decide. I am gonna start with, actually, I'm gonna use, this is Highland Heather Light. I'm gonna start with that one. I am going to color in the cake stand, and I'm doing all of it, first of all. Some people go light to dark, some people go dark to light. I tend to start with my light, and then I can kinda of add to it from there, because I don't, I don't want things to be too dark. I'd rather kinda of darken them up as I go, okay? So I've got that one. Then I'm gonna use my dark, and I kinda just wanna shade it, almost like um, there's a little bit of a shadow on this one side here. So I'm just gonna kinda add a little bit of color around there. Then I'm gonna go back with my light Highland Heather, and this is where that blending begins, where I'm just gonna kinda, ooh, I went a little bit, but you know what, that's gonna be okay, because we're gonna punch that out. I went a little bit outside the lines. But I wanna, there was kind of a pretty significant line there, and if you just keep kind of circling with your marker, it kind of fades out or blends that line. Hence the name. Okay, now we are gonna use, these are pool party. I've got my light and dark pool party markers. Um, we are going to color this bottom part of our cake. So you can see this first one is pretty light. You know what, I'm gonna use my fat tip too. I think I've got a little bit more room. I tend to, yeah, that's gonna give me a little bit more color too. There, that's a little bit better. I was like, man, we're gonna be here all day long if I color with that skinny tip. I get a little worried, especially doing it on the live <laughs> is probably my biggest worry that I'm gonna go outside the lines, but it's far enough away that maybe you guys can even tell if I did. Now I've got my dark pool party and I'm gonna just go back in with the skinnier tip and I am going to add a little bit 
more color and I'm going to go back over them because I want them to pop out just a little bit more than kind of the background of the cake but what a cute cake it's like a really pretty kind of a fondant look doesn't it that super smooth I don't know if I've ever eaten fondant it looks so pretty everybody says it doesn't taste that good but you know I don't know maybe that would be okay then I wouldn't eat a lot of cake right Okay, now we are going to use, I have a light Calypso Coral and, oops, I did have that going the right way, and then a dark Flirty Flamingo. So we are going to start with our Calypso Coral and we are going to just color in some of these stripes here with our Calypso Coral. How fun. Are you guys relaxing? Isn't this so, right? We say the adult coloring craze. So relaxing and therapeutic to be using our markers and coloring. We're gonna add in our pink. And I want this one to be a little bit darker. It's kind of fun to have a little bit of contrast, not too, too much. I like that it's just a little bit brighter than my Calypso Coral. Just very fun springy color combination, right? Okay, so that's that. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab um, for my candles. I'm gonna use my dark Highland Heather, the super little tip. And honestly, I am not even like, I'm barely touching the marker. If you could see, it's like I'm just kind of wisping over because these candles are so skinny. If I were to really lay this marker down on here, um, I think it would go way outside the lines. And this is okay. It's kind of, um, you know, these candles aren't perfect anyway, so it's all right if you might get a little bit outside the lines. might be a little bit blurred, but I think that looks good. And then I have my dark Daffodil Delight marker, and I'm just gonna kind of, so my candles have been lit and they are burning brightly for my birthday card. Okay, so I think we're good. Whew, all right, I did it. I think I can take my glasses off. <clears throat> now we are gonna use our little punch. So here's the cake stand. So can you guys see that? Let me get that, right? Hmm. There, I'm trying to show you guys and then I can't see it myself. Okay, that looks good there. All right, get some extra bits. And then we're gonna do our cake itself. Popping that one out. Okay, love that punch. There's just something really fun about it. Okay, I think we have everything we need to put our card together now. Okay, so I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of my oval. And we're gonna add him the stitched edge. We're gonna add that to our scallop edge. Oops, and I actually want to pool party scallop edge. I'm going to use the little baby mini, the mini dimensionals. I'm going to put those there and there and there. Okay. And then where's my, oh, here, my happy birthday. I want a couple more. I'm going to put a couple little babies behind that guy too. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the cake top. Sally, I'm glad you like the colors. Um, oh, Tammy, I'm glad you, I love your blends. I know, I sometimes forget about them. Um, I love the coloring, like I, I actually really do feel like it's very relaxing. Um, a lot of times I just feel like I don't have the time to do that coloring, but it sure is nice when you do take the time to do that. Okay, so there's my little cake stand. I'm gonna put that, I'm trying to get him kind of maneuvered underneath there. There we go, okay. Now we can put these things on our card. Okay, so I'm just adding adhesive to that strip of Highland Heather. Designer series paper or DSP. Do you guys ever hear that? People say, what's DSP? It's designer series paper. Okay, then we're gonna put, oops, my snail's being funny. There, put some adhesive on our oval. And we're gonna pop that guy maybe right about there. Then we're gonna add our happy birthday. And then we're gonna use my favorite, cause I can't stop using these 
little glitter enamel dots. We're gonna use a couple of the purple. You can see I've kind of gotten these pulled apart a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna use, we're gonna put one right there, kind of a smallish one. We're gonna do a medium one right there, and then the next size, not the largest. So I used one of those, one of those, and one of, oops, can you even see those? I used a small, a medium, a little bit larger. I did not use any of the super large ones on this particular one. So you guys, there you go. There's our first card. And I will tell you, you do not even have to color these cakes. I actually didn't do, well, I did a little bit of coloring. That's right on the one with the, um, um, with the, with the flowers. That's what they're called, the flowers. But I'm gonna give you another quick peek, right? See, I, did, I just stamped that one. I did a little bit of coloring on that one. And then I just stamped both of these also. So you can see how cute they are. I love all those details, right? But you don't have to do lots of coloring if you don't want to, but you have the opportunity to if you'd like to, because there are a lot of fun details in there. So either way, whatever you like. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> I know, Phil, I mean, I love those dots too. So, okay, so there's the first card. All right, bear with me one sec while I scoot some stuff out of the way. Make sure. Because you know what will happen if I don't do that, then I'll end up using like the wrong thing on, a, on the other card. <laughs> I'll think it's for this one, and that could be trouble. All right, get all those dimensionals out of the way. And that ain't, okay, so good, 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 good. I think we're good enough here. Next card, ladies. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool one too. Okay, so I just have to show you this one, right? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. So, uh, and I just got the thank you thinlet. So this is the kind of the time of year when everybody's like, okay, we don't have that much new stuff, but I tend to go back to my annual catalog and find things that I maybe ordered or um, wanted to order and then I play with them so we can show you guys one last time before the annual catalog is done and you guys know so April 15th the last chance a retiring list is going to come out so I will post that to our Facebook group and my blog as soon as it is out make sure if there's anything that you want I would order it as soon as possible because a lot of that stuff tends to sell out pretty quickly on that last chance list. I'm sure this designer series paper, this is part of that twinkle twinkle. And this is my favorite, one of my favorite patterns in that paper. I love those stripes. I was laughing as I was making this card the other day. I'm like, oh, if I saw a shirt in those colors, I would probably have to buy it. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, and then we also used the tufted embossing folder and some more of the navy baker's twine and then some of those fun little wooden elements. I'll show you guys those. And again, this was a card that I saw on Pinterest. Um, Stamp with Amy K. Amy Conders designed this card, so I can't take credit for the card. I just thought it was so cute. And again, it was one of those like, oh, it was late. I knew I had to be ready for Facebook Live. And life kind of took me, took over <laughs> this week. So casing is a good thing to do when things are crazy and you want to make a cute project, but you feel like you've run out of time to figure it out on your own. So lots of great ideas out there on Pinterest, etc. Okay, so, all right, let me get these things scooted out of the way. I'm gonna give you measurements first. So we have, this is our Knight of Navy card base. And this one we did a tall card with. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it in half at four and a half inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it in half at five and a half inches for our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then we have a piece of pool party cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this is the piece that we're gonna emboss. And then the really pretty stripes and they've got some fun little polka dots. This is kind of part of the baby suite, I guess, the twinkle twinkle suite, although it certainly doesn't have to be baby, it's just fun, um, kind of simple springy colors. So this piece measures one and a half by four inches. Okay, and then actually on the inside, we did do some stamping that says, you are the best. And I like that little guy across the bottom there too. So that white piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, so let's see, why don't we, let's do our die cutting and our embossing. Let's get those done and then we can do our stamping and put the rest of it together. So, grabbing the big shot. 
We are gonna do our die cutting first since I have my magnetic platform right in here. Okay, so again, I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad, my Knight of Navy cardstock, and my big thank you thinlet. I'm gonna just pull that guy out, okay? We're just gonna hit, lay him right on there. This is just a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. Um, whatever, you know, just find one that's big enough to put the frame on. And I'm gonna go back and forth. I apologize if that's wiggling a little bit. I'm gonna just try to make sure this gets cut really well. Okay. And scoot that guy. And let's see. Yep, okay, so it's gonna pop right out. And the thing to know to make sure that it cut is that you can see kind of that silver um, through the paper. That means you know that it cut all the way through. I'm actually going to get rid of that platform because we need the other one. And let's see, I've got my Big Shot die brush. Or do I? Oh yeah, it's, I'm like trying to do it on there. That's not it. You guys can't even really see that, can you? You know what? I'll finish that up in a sec. Let's do our embossing with... This is our regular Big Shot platform and then the tufted embossing folder. Thank you for the share, Tammy. I really appreciate that. I'm working hard and I, I so appreciate your help in trying to reach new friends that would like to enjoy the Facebook Lives as well. So thank you. I appreciate every single share and every single comment that you guys make on here. It makes it so fun. Um, that's the great part about Facebook Live, right, is how interactive it is to have you guys on here and get your comments. And like I said, I really appreciate the shares too. Okay, so I love that embossing folder. It's like a quilt or um, a quilt or maybe your mattress cover. <laughs> Makes me think of sleep, right, and rest. Okay, so, oh, back over here. This is what we're gonna do. So I have my little Big Shot die brush and I'm just gonna kind of run that over here. And if it doesn't get loosened up, because this did happen, it's kind of loose though, isn't it? So I might use my paper piercing tool to very carefully just kind of lift that. So do you guys see? Like, wow, it's like magic how simple that was, right? To make that little thank you die. Super duper simple. Okay, scoot that over there. Now let's do our stamping so that can dry for a moment. So I've got my Knight of Navy ink we are going to use. And I've got my, oh, I didn't even show you guys. Let's check out this stamp set, the A Big Thank You set. So this is a bundle. You can get the stamp set and then the Thank You Thinlet in a bundle. It's in the annual catalog. Again, I will give you the item codes for everything that we're using. So when you're ready to shop and get these products, um, it'll be super easy for you to do. But you can see there's lots of kind of fun imagery, some pretty flowers, and then Yes, a baby blanket or a luxurious headboard. Yes, that's it. Yeah, it's all about sleep though, isn't it, Tammy? You're with me. Okay, so we've got heartfelt gratitude, grateful every day for you, thanks, thank you. Your lovely wishes brought a smile to my day. Oh, that's awesome. For the gift, so maybe thanks for the gift. And then there's a thanks so much. Thanks friend or thank you friend, right? You are the best, that's what we're using. There's a hello. Friends are flowers in the garden of life. That's cute, huh? And then ever so grateful. And then you could do a big thanks, right? So lots of lots of building and then lots of fun, like I said, imagery on there also. So a great thank you stamp set if you need another way to say thank you. I think that would be a good option. Okay, so we've got our Knight of Navy ink, our You Are the Best. We're gonna stamp that right there. I think I wobbled a little bit. So we're gonna flip that over. It looks a little bit blurry. The beauty of our cardstock though, right? That you can just flip it over. I'm gonna try not to. Oh, did I, Ooh, shoo! Okay, that worked. I thought maybe I was gonna do it again. They are very nice sentiments, aren't they, Marianne? And then I thought this was just kind of fun to get that stamped across the bottom there. Okay, not too bad. It's a good thing it's not supposed to be super perfect. They made the stamp forgiving like that too. So if you go a little, it's not a big deal, right? I think I did a good job. All righty, let's see what are we gonna do next. Let's get some adhesive. We're gonna put some adhesive on our luxurious headboard embossing folder. You're right, a luxurious headboard. Oh, I think I've always wanted a headboard like that too, now that you say that, Tammy. Maybe someday. Okay, 
And so we're gonna pop this guy. Hold on, I feel like there's a little bit of navy ink. You guys cannot see that, but I'm gonna cover it up with my cardstock or my designer series paper. Yep, it's gonna go right there. Okay, so now we are adding our adhesive on our designer series paper. We are going to run that there. <laughs> now I'm going to grab my silicone craft sheet and I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive. You can see I'm, oops, and you wanna be a little bit careful because this is kind of delicate, but I'm just trying to kind of, and it's sticking to me, it has to be a little bit funny, you know, but I wanna get enough adhesive, but without getting huge globs of it when you make like a really long run, I want just a little, kind of little titches of adhesive all over that, right? I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. I love using this though as my work surface so I don't get adhesive all over my um, grid paper, okay? And I'm gonna kind of lay this down on there. I think that looks good. Now my trick was to just kind of put that on there and then flip it over and then I can rub really, really, really well to make sure <laughs> yes, a lot faster than liquid glue. You are not kidding. I do not have the patience for that liquid glue stuff. I use it every once in a while, Marianne, but <laughs> I think it's a lot a lot easier. And if you've got some adhesive, you know, in the middle of that A or somewhere, if you just rub, you can rub that right off. So that's my little trick. I like to do it that way instead. Okay, so now I'm going to just wrap a couple of strands. I think I went around like three times. And we're gonna make a fun bow. Let's get that going the right way. Okay. And we're gonna tie our bow. And I want it to be fairly tight. You just wanna kind of make sure it's not super loose, not that it would really come off the card, but I like that too. Um, kind of those couple of um, layers like that too, it kind of creates like a little border across the top also. We'll cut that guy off, right? And then, let's see, we'll put this little, you are the best, thank you, you are the best. So again, you guys see where I stamped that on the back. And if you hold it up in the light, maybe you can see through it, but once you put it on your super dark Knight of Navy card base, you're gonna really have no idea that I stamped that back there. Right, you can't even see it. So lastly, these are these really cute, um, they are called the Frames Elements. <clears throat> okay, oh, Sally, what are you asking? What was this called? Maybe the silicone craft sheet? I'll make sure to put that um, on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. I'll give you the item code for this. I think this is what you're asking for, Sally. Silicone craft mat or sheet. You find it, if you're looking in your catalog, it's on the same page as all of the adhesives. Um, so if you look, you know, in the very back of your catalog, there's a little index, and if it says adhesive, just go to that page, and you will find the silicone craft sheet. Yep. Okay, good. I'm glad I know what you're asking about. <laughs> okay, so the frames elements, just a really cute, fun set of, like, wooden elements in here. And we are going to use, you actually, I think you get, I can't quite remember, I've had a couple packages of these, but you get a couple of these sheets, and then a couple of these sheets. You might get three of these and two of these. I can't remember for sure, but we are gonna pop out. We are gonna just use these little hearts right here. So you can, can you see, can you guys see all of those? Sorry, I'm like too intent looking at it myself. I'm not making sure you guys can see it. But these little things like that little guy will pop out, that cute little guy, that little cute guy. So we are gonna just use these hearts. So we're gonna use that. Can you guys see it? I feel like it's hard to see, right? And the other thing we're gonna do because you could leave it like that, or, and you wanna be careful because these are delicate. You wanna just kinda of gently push that little heart out of there. So it's kind of attached in there, so you want to just kinda of pull it back and then you end up with kind of an outline and then a full heart, okay? Scooting those guys out of the way. So now I need my glue dots. And this was my little trick here. So the first one is easy. I'm just going to pop that right on a glue dot. Okay, so I've got that. We're going to put him maybe right about there. And then this other one I did, I wanted to use a glue dot on this one also. 
and I'm going to kind of get it, try to get it toward the top right up there. Oops, but you got to make sure. And you want to be careful because, like I said, these are kind of delicate, and if you pull really hard, you can kind of break it. So don't do that, right? So I'm going to put that guy right on there. And then what I tried to do, because there's a bunch of kind of glue dotty globbiness, like just inside the heart, I just used my little paper piercing tool just to kind of get it stuck up. I think that helps keep the heart on there too. And that's it. So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy? I love, I love this card. Thank you. Who wouldn't love to get a thank you card like that too? Thank you, right? You are the best. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So you guys, it's been so good to be back to stamp with you again. It's been a while. Two weeks is a really long time, isn't it? So thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the projects. Make sure, as always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, so that you understand how, how things work around here at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, right? If you put at least a $30 online order in by next Wednesday, you're gonna get these two cards, these two projects that I demonstrated, and your name is entered into the drawing to win the Fable Friends stamp set, right? Make sure to use your host code P3GZ7ND7. Always, you can find that on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And then if you bump your order up to over $50, you always get a free embellishment too. So thank you. Like I said, you guys, I'm like so happy that you guys enjoyed the cards, that you hung with me today, that we're all back and having fun playing together. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll keep you posted on the basketball tournament. We'll see. This is a brand new team. Kate's never played on before, so really have no idea what he's in for, but it's always fun to watch. So thank you guys. And like I said, I will get the um, all the prizes for the spring break special sent out as soon as I get the embellishments and as soon as I hear back from everybody which prize they want. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm so glad I'm back to Philomena and you guys have a good weekend. We'll see you next Friday. Bye everybody. And thanks Tammy. I appreciate that.